Hi everyone, this is Intermediate Music Theory and today uh, for our exercises we're going to try something a little different. We're going to try some ear training exercises uh, related to scale recognition. So rather than writing scales or being able to recognize them on the staff, we're going to see if we can recognize them by ear. So I've been kind of talking a lot about how as you get comfortable with scales, you get pretty good at, he at being able to hear them, recognize the type of scale just by listening. So we're gonna practice that because ear training is no longer a really, really important skill to develop as a musician, but it takes practice. It's not something that you either have or you don't have. It can definitely be developed, but you have to try it out and you have to spend some time doing it. So. We're gonna do this with the exercises of musictheory.net. And towards the bottom of the exercises page, we have a scale ear training exercise. So we're gonna try that out. And before we even get started, as you can see, there are a lot of names in here that you may not recognize. That's because we haven't talked about them. So we're gonna make sure that we customize the exercise to do what we want. So we sc let's go to the gear icon up here and let's change some settings. So in scales, right off the bat, let's only do the ones that we've learned so far, which are the major, the natural, harmonic, and melodic minor. These over here, we haven't worked on before. These are called modes and we're gonna get to them some other time, but for now, let's uncheck them. And then as you can see, there are other types of scales over here. Um, if you're curious about these, you can kind of look them up on your own. Uh, we will cover some of these at a later time. Uh, but for now, let's just focus on the ones that we've learned. So we're going to do play mode ascending. Uh, maybe we'll try a few descending later just to work on that as well. Uh, we're going to do slow speed for now just to keep things easy enough. Uh, okay. So. We're going to keep the range between C3 and C5, which I also have the pop-up keyboard over here that's part of musictheory.net. Remember, this is in the tool section, and you can actually use this in your ear training to help you. Uh, we're going to stay within the range of C3, which is here, and C5, which is here. And remember, middle C is C4, and that's the one that's got that little dot that lets us know that that's middle C. Uh, so that's good enough for customizing the exercise. Let's play that one more time because I was still talking when he decided to play for some reason. So let's listen. Okay, so uh, if you're not sure how to go about this, I suggest that we go to the pop-up keyboard or a piano or a keyboard if you have one at home. The first thing we need to figure out is what the first note was. So, I believe it was C. And if you're unsure, we can also listen back. Okay, that's gonna be C. Okay, so right away, we first thing we need to figure out is if it's major or minor. So I heard C, D, but then I heard a half step to E flat. Let's make sure that that's right. That's right. That was correct, I heard C, so we know now that it's one of the minors. We know that it cannot be major because major would have had a whole step between D and E. So now if we continue the C minor scale, let's start, let's try natural minor. D, E, F, G, now half step, and then half step, and then whole step, I'm sorry. Uh, whole step, whole step. But let's see if that's what it sounded like. Uh, 
Okay, so I definitely heard a half step here. But then I heard the seventh note of the scale be different than this. And to me it sounded... It sounded like that distance. Which, if you remember, if we take the natural minor and we take the sixth scale degree and the seventh scale degree and then we take the seven and we raise it by a half step, we end up with harmonic minor. So let's now listen one more time and then play it on the keyboard and see if that makes sense. So well, now that I hear it again, I'm getting to be pretty sure. Let me play it in the keyboard. Half step, and then raise seven. So that sounded right. So that's gotta be harmonic minor. That was correct. Okay, so the first thing we need to figure out is what the first note was. That was going to A. Yep. Okay, so the first step of figuring out major versus minor is the third scale degree. We need to figure out if that was a whole step or a half step. So A, B, C would be minor and A, B, C sharp would be major. And when I hear C sharp, I think that's what we had. So let's listen again. Great, so you hear that A, B, C sharp, that whole step there lets us know that it's major for sure. So we don't even really need to listen to the rest of the scale because that is a sure sign that is major. Okay, so we have Let's figure out that note. flat or C sharp. That's going to be our first note. Okay, so now that I've matched the first note to C sharp or D flat, however you want to think about it, let's figure out what it was. First step is to figure out the distance between the second and third scale degree. So C sharp, D sharp, Sharp. Let's do it as D flat so that we don't get weird like E sharp or anything like that. So D flat, E flat, F, that would be major, and D flat, E flat, E, F flat, uh, that would be minor, but to me it sounded like major. Let's listen again. Great. So we have E, so D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, D flat. That's a major D flat, D flat major scale. Okay, so for, for this one, we're gonna try something a little different. Um, let's see if we can start getting a feel for singing the scales without the keyboard. Uh, and also let's see if we can get a feel for those intervals 
without having to go back to the keyboard. So in this case, it's not really gonna matter what our initial node is gonna be. We can just do la or ta and get it that way. So la 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 la. So la la da. So that was one, two, three. The distance between two and three sounded like a whole step because if I sing a half step, it's gonna sound different. So one, two, three, that would be half step. And one, two, three, that's whole step. So that sounds like major to me. Let's sing it back now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's definitely gonna be a major scale. And see, I didn't even bother to figure out what the first note was, um, just because it's pretty easy to tell major or minor. Okay, so let's do one more. This time is a uh, la 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 la. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three. That sounds like a whole step. Now, if it was half step, it would be one, two, three. So let's see it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's gonna be a major scale. Okay. Let's do this final exercise and you guys can do like as many as you want at home. Uh, you can just keep doing this exercise until you've like burned these sounds into your ear. Uh, it's a very good practice. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get. So let's sing this one. So. So. One, two, three. That to me is very clear. That sounds like a half step between two and three. So that's gonna be one of the minors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we have to figure out what happens in the second half of the scale to be able to tell the difference between natural minor, harmonic, and melodic. So in the natural minor, we're gonna have a half step between five and six. And we're also gonna have a whole step between six and seven, and then whole step between seven and eight. Let's see if this scale matches that pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we had five, six, five, six, that's half a step, because whole step would be five, six, so we know it cannot be melodic minor because in melodic minor, we would have had a raised sixth degree or a whole step between five and six. So that cannot be. So we've now narrowed it down between natural minor and harmonic minor. We also had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we had six, seven, eight. So if we had a harmonic minor, we would have had to raise the seventh degree, which would have sounded like six, seven, eight. So we have only one whole step between six, seven, eight. That means that it has to be natural minor. Let's listen one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you also hear the distance between seven, eight is a whole step instead of seven, eight, which would have been a half step. That's how you know it cannot be harmonic minor. So this one's gonna be natural minor.
Anyway, uh, this is going to be it for this video, but uh, feel free to practice this at home with this exercise as many times as you want. The more you do this, the better and quicker your ear will get at doing this, at recognizing scales. And trust me, recognizing things by ear is super important. It saves a lot of time when you're learning music and it's just a great all around skill for any musician. It becomes very important as you get more advanced. So start working on this now. All right, uh, and uh, just remember that you have these exercises available for to, uh, all the time in musictheory.net, so you can do as many as you want at home. Take care, and we'll see you guys in a new, another video. Bye-bye.